Hello, welcome back again. I am Shuran and this is my LP of Panzer General 6.2 campaign. Today we will begin a new scenario, the conquest of England, Operation Sea Lion. In our last videos we were able to gain a major victory in France taking Dunkirk at the 8th turn and today we will go to the shores of the Great Britain we will load our major victory in Dunkirk and says that uh, our, our standard victory uh, has avenged our emulation of 1918 who is our it's not my emulation <laughs> I'm in Spanish <laughs> so well uh, I think it's the the general staff of the very much, I don't know what. And uh, it says that if we want to spend mil, uh, one thousand of prestige to secure Gibraltar and send the Italian Navy. I will say no, but in this campaign uh, some of you will find uh, the Italian Navy uh, useful. I will say no because I want all my prestige to construct my core army but in this scenario you will see a very heavy naval uh, Britain naval force so for some of you the naval uh, the Italian Navy it will be of help I will say that in the classic campaign uh, the answer is uh, no, but uh, in this uh, 6.2 campaign sometimes sometimes uh, you can feel better if you have the uh, help of the Italian Navy and you are uh, very high on, on prestige. Well, I will say no and we will go to the invasion of England and what will we face here the map is the same that in the classic campaign but are some differences in this scenario so you will see the difference between a, a map and, and a scenario a map is the configuration of the land, the rivers, the cities, the airfields and so on. But the scenario is the map plus the uh, set of units that you will confront in the, in the map. And this scenario is very different from the classic campaign. Because the English Navy that is here and here is stronger than in the classic campaign and there are more uh, British air units I think that in the first wave we must uh, confront uh, 15 or 18 uh, fighters and in the land the enemy has these good fortifications these bunkers uh, that have a lot of uh, soft attack and hard attack this one and we will see these radar units 
these rather nudes, I think that they have a sense spotting of 13. So it means that the enemy will see this zone, will see this shore, and will see all of our uh, airfields in near Calais and Boulogne. So you have to to act and to perform as if you were playing with Hidden's unit on, even we will uh, fight with Hidden's unit off. So it will be a hard scenario and as you will see we will lose some units and some of them will be core units. Okay, we will begin making our deployment. I will not upgrade of course my infantry units, but here I will upgrade my tanks. I will upgrade my obsolete Panzer for C tanks with this tank. This is, these are French captured tanks and they have more ground defense and more air defense. And I will need this ground defense to confront the British Matildas and the British uh, strongholds. So I will upgrade all my Panzer forces with these captured French tanks. You can see soft attack of 11, hard attack of 8, and ground defense of 11 and air defense of 11, and a close defense of 2. That is not bad. So I will upgrade this Panzer for C's. And of course, I will upgrade my fighters because in this scenario it appears the Focke Wolf 190. This is not historically correct because this fighter was put in service in 1941, not in 1940. But uh, I think. This battle is easier with the Focke Wolf 190. It can be done with the Messerschmitt. And historically, the Messerschmitt were better than the Spitfires in the Battle of Britain. But as you will see, we will face uh, Spitfires 2 that has uh, an HD of 5 and I defense of 12, so I need something that can stop the Spitfires. And I will use this unit even if historically uh, isn't uh, correct. So I will upgrade all my measures meet to Focke Wolf. In some equipments, the Focke Wolf is not uh, available in Sea Lion 14. 40. Which is more correct. But it makes this scenario, I say, more difficult. We upgrade our measures means. And of course our recon measures means. Me. 
Okay, and this is it. Yes. You perhaps can upgrade these two panzer for this. To panzer to this panzer B two seven four O these French tanks. But I will risk. But it's not a bad idea uh, to upgrade the tanks, the Panzer for this, with more uh, experience with the French tanks, with the French captured tanks. And we will deploy our units. Of course, we will need uh, our infantry to suppress these good fortifications. So I will put this infantry near the fortifications. And here I will place this infantry to be prepared to disembark and kill the other uh, fortifications. Okay. I will not put in the first line the panzer for this. But I will put in the first line my pan my French captured tanks. Okay. And here I will have oh I need a tank here. Yes. You will go here. I will put my anti tanks to help me with this opposition here. And now the panzer jaggers. Here I will put an stook to confront this artillery and the others near to be soon disembarked. Okay. And for the artilleries I will put one here that will help me with this entrenchment, this infantry heavy entrenched in Dover, and the other ones here to be disembarked in the thir our third wave. Okay. And of course, I will send to England my flags to help me with the heavy air resistance. Okay, now the air deployment. Here I will need to kill as soon as possible this radar station, so I will put two of my best fighters here to support. I will also begin dealing with these fortifications and I will put my fighters to, to help.
and one fighter more to help me with the attack of the British fleet. Okay. For the Stukas, one will be here to destroy the radar station and I will place the other Stukas here to re-strength. And with the Heinkels I will use one with this fortification, another one with this fortification another one with this fortification and perhaps one more here to help me with the northern British fleet ok and this is it and we begin to see the enemy units I will show you the most significant difference between these units and the classic campaign as you can see this is the radar station with a spotting of 13 but not very good soft attack no air attack and only an air defense of 9 so it will be not difficult to kill but these fortifications here there are another thing completely different they have a soft attack of 15 hard attack of 18 a naval attack of 13 so they are uh, they have the same uh, gunfire as a light cruiser or a heavy cruiser and ground defense of 16 and air defense of 14 so I need my uh, uh, level bombers to soft them before my infantry could attack them and destroy them ok and now as I have some prestige oh and this heavy fort it's near the same, a spotting of 5 so he could see all this zone here and you could see another radar station here so I think he could see this coast and these airfields not this airfield here but this one ok In, in our side we have a different troops that are this Brandenburg division one of them will be uh, like a commando division that will disembark here near Chester and two airborne Brandenburgs that will help with the take with taking the city of Stoke and perhaps we will go then to Manchester, Sheffield and Liverpool so we also will disembark them it's very important that you disembark this Brandenburger division in the woods because these Matildas they have a good uh, uh, um, ground defense but they have only a soft attack of 2 so if you put these Brandenburgers in the woods they will be safe ok very good now I will save my deployment One. 
England. Zero one, and I take a pause. Bye. Okay, I'm back. We have made our deployment, and now I begin the attack. But first, I will buy some units to help me in this scenario. And I will buy three fighters. Help me with the Royal Air Force. That is dramatically <laughs> bigger than the in the classic campaign. And okay, I will begin. First, I will attack this spotting radar station. I don't know why the animation is this Russian record. But I will put the perhaps the animations off because this will be a, a peak scenario with a lot of units and it will take a, a lot of time. Sorry if you like uh, animations. I like animations too, but uh, it will take a lot of time to see all the animations. Okay. And we will score this Stuka with our fighters. Okay. What else? I will retreat this. Uh, paratroopers here who will be hidden of the British attacks because in this scenario the real problem is that they come uh, uh, waves of fighters and you cannot protect everything you must protect your your bombers, you must protect your uh, land units, you must protect your navy and you just can't uh, protect everything and everybody everywhere. So uh, that's what I put these stukas here and that's why I retreat uh, by the moment these uh, these pad troopers because I can protect everybody. Okay. I will of course retreat this uh, navy but Why do I retreat this navy? Because I don't want that my weak navy confronts this royal navy here, because he is really uh, big. He's uh, a good. Uh, it's better than my navy, and I cannot uh, confront them. So I will just retreat my units and 
I will select my my enemy and I think that my navy unit will can confront this navy here because it's it's weaker than the than the other one. Okay. Now I disembark. Here this is a, another fort. I remember you is a very strong unit. So we will need something to deal with this fort. So I will send this Henkel here. Okay. You will attack this infantry and protect this Henkel. Good. You will also attack this infantry and perhaps destroy it. No. Okay. And you stay. And now this infantry. Yes. And it will advance. And these two units can disembark. Okay. Here. You will attack. And perhaps a bunch here to help with this fortification and you can attack now okay this artillery okay and what to do I will perhaps put it here I stayed here okay you disembark, of course. And you can begin dealing with this air defense. Not very good. Okay. What else? Here I will attack here. And advance here. Yes. And you can perhaps attack this infantry. Okay. And now you also disembark. Here we can advance our units. to disembark okay here 
here. I will not disembark this Panzer 3G because we don't need a Panzer 3G here. So you will advance. Because I will send some of these non core units to help me take in Harwich and Norwich and, Gre and Great Bermuda. Okay. I will not also want a paratrooper, so he will disembark here. I will mount it in a air transport and send it to take the parts of Hull and Mablethorpe. Mablethorpe. Okay. You. You will attack this artillery. Very good. Okay. You can disembark. Another Panther 3G, not necessary, but this S2 will be necessary. Okay, here, here I need to solve this fort. Okay. And now perhaps I will kill it. Good. So I will put it here. And you just soft entrenchment of this infantry. Okay. What else? You retreat. You will soft and retreat. Perhaps can go Okay. I will not need a light artillery. But I will send this flag here to help me their battle. I don't need an thirty-nine infantry, of course. I will use this good artillery and I need perhaps a, a target to this fortification who is always good to give targets to the enemy this infantry can advance I will advance also this pioneer and this S2, this Panzer 3G, this Recon, I will advance to disembark here this anti-tank who will help take in London. And this artillery, of course. 
and what to do here perhaps to disembark now this Panther 3G and give another no they will be not can be not attacked no but yes I will disembark it why not okay what else this Henkel has only one uh, fighter to protect and in this scenario your air units need two air units to protect ever so I will send another fighter here cover these units and help me with <laughs> keeping alive my Henkel okay here we will have some another fighter so I will place it here okay you are in range yes you are in range so I will use this Junker against this heavy fort and always protect it with two fighters and you you perhaps can go here I will use one fighter to scout think the Royal Navy if I don't but remember is here so I will send my fighter perhaps here or here or maybe here yes It's the same. Come on, yeah. Good. And now I can begin dealing with the English fleet. Very good. Another Junker. How much Junkers I have here? have three Junkers here so you can attack here and you perhaps can attack here and of course I will need another fighter Okay. Here. F -f 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 -f. I will send this fighter, this Messerschmitt 100 and Knight F, to help me with the Royal Navy here. not you because this Tornier hasn't 
air capabilities. So I will just send it north. Okay. And you perhaps you can will help with the British fleet. Okay. What else? You will be put in the transports because as you can see the enemy steals still see this zone so the first objective the first target of the Royal Navy will be this flag and that's why I put it in the transport and perhaps I will give it some elite okay it bends and it bends what else you over strength and you and you just move okay I will retrieve now my Royal Navy because this Navy is still too strong to confront with my weak Navy stay here we're not allowed to attack but no I will just leave it here okay and this is it I will give the enemy's turn and see the first reaction to our invasion of England We see the casualties, only two infantries, one anti-tank, one artillery, one fortification, not bad, but still no fighters, no destroyers and no capital ships. I think that the air battle will be done when I have killed 20 or 25 fighters and the naval battle will be finished when I could kill seven destroyers and seven capital ships ok yes he attacks
as you can see, the enemy has some hurricanes with four and five stars of experience. He's going for our auxiliary units, which is good. Yes, he goes for this flag. Very good, excellent result. But you perhaps oh. okay. Excellent turn. Excellent, excellent. Then the enemy only attacks here once. He goes for my units in the transports, but he attacks mainly the auxiliary troops. That's why I choose some auxiliary troops to uh, not to retreat here, but to put it here as targets because I prefer to lose an auxiliary unit than a core unit. And here will be the same. I will send some of these units, uh, this uh, recon and these infantry here, because I prefer to lose a Panther 3G with a cost of 220 than to lose this Sharnov, so this capital ship that I need to take all the zone. And of course I don't want to lose a core unit. So I give targets to the enemy to the enemy. Okay. We continue. Here we can attack this hurricane. Okay. And you perhaps can kill this radar station. Very good. Now the, the enemy can see what is hiding near Cherbourg. So I can send now safely this Stuka here. And here I can send now I begin to deal with the English Navy Okay, I will send now th this one. Yes, they are in range. I think there are fighters here and here. So. I will send this Junker here. And perhaps you can protect it. You can retreat, and you, and you, okay. Here, you can insist attacking this fort, 
and I sent it where? South, sure. Here I have another fighter. So if I send this fighter here and this one now they can attack a destroyer. What else here? You can attack this far. Good. And advance. Here we will begin strafing this Matilda too. We'll put it into transports, of course. And now I perhaps can attack it with my infantry. Very good. And taking the city with my bridge engineer. Very good. Here, an artillery. You can attack. And perhaps you will destroy. Okay. Here we can send now. First we can disembark You can attack Very good, this anti-tank Kill it and you advance. Okay. Here. I think you can begin the year battle. You only have two stars of experience, so yes, you can attack this Spitfire with one star. Good. You four stars, you five stars. Let's see. I think you can attack this fort. Okay. Here we have this artillery that can kill this infantry. 
Very good. Okay, okay. What else? What else? Yeah. This tank has no experience. This fighter without experience will attack this Spitfire. Okay. Here, you can attack this fort. You are three stars. So I think this fighter with three stars can confront this hurricane with five stars. He fires first, but now you can kill it. Okay. Here another speed fire with one, another spy with one. Attack this infantry. Oh, right defense. stars for four stars no. you perhaps could have confronted it but you are too far away. We will have to to risk. Must be done. Very good. Very good. Perhaps even you can kill
Okay. You need a lead. You will disembark. What else? You. And here. Here. You are needed to protect this level bomber. Do you have any more fighters here? But we need these fighters. Here you can go here. You. What to do? You can take. No. You can attack. Okay. Take this city. You can also attack here. Perhaps can begin attacking this fort. Very good. Now there is no spotting here. And what else? I will put this infantry here. And this bridge engineer here, but I will not attack. And you. I 
you can also will go here. Okay, you disembark and you you Here the enemy still has a destroyer. What to do? What else? Here. The Royal Navy. You get a lead. Cannot protect you, but here you will be protected. You can begin to soft this infantry. Okay. You disembark. Heavy cruiser is not in range of anybody, and this light cruiser too. So yes, we will retreat them. Stay, 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 stay. And here, yes, I think. We can begin to advance our fighters. Oh, 
for the Brandenburger. You disembark and you will take Chester and here we will use these two Brandenburgers to attack Stoke and take this airfield. Sometimes you get rugged defenses, sometimes not. Sometimes <laughs> this works, sometimes not. It's just poor work. Okay. And see here. You go here, only, or perhaps neither you can, of these destroyers can attack. Okay, we see the casualties. Now the air battle has begun, one f four fighters, and we have killed one destroyer, the first of a lot of them. And in the land, four infantries, one tank, three anti tanks, two artilleries, and five fortifications. As you can see, we <laughs> stay in the beaches, so Churchill was right. We must stay in the beaches, still, we have, we are prepared to confront London and as you can see in London these two fortifications can even kill one tank here there will be also heavy artilleries and these fortifications have a range of two Oh no, oh, perdón, I'm sorry. Range of zero, but also a heart attack of 12. Okay. We save it. On. England. Three. and safe for the best, especially for this tank, this anti-tank, and these bridge engineers. But I think they will be attacking now. And the enemy is so heavy than an attack of a Spitfire, and a good shot of this force and we will lose one, two, three, two or three units now. Mm -hmm. Over here. And here I'm not really sure what to do because this artillery is a clear target for the enemy but also my infantry and I don't know how many fighters, enemy fighters are in the zone so I think the enemy will attack the artillery but This flag is protected the zone. I don't know. I don't know. 
I am pretty sure that he will attack the artillery. This is the problem of Panzer General, you know, don't know, but this bridge engineer is three stars. I only have one fighter to protect so many units. I will not protect the artillery. No, 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 no. I will protect these four units. Yes. Okay. Yes, now the we hope for this level bomber, protected level bomber, and for the end of the time. Yes, he goes. He attacks my panzer, my weakened panzer. Okay, good. He goes for my flag. Okay. Wow. He's... Battleship kill my Panzer CG with one shot. Okay. Okay, he has resist. Yes. Please resist. Survive. Yes. Okay. And now we have lose one tank and one air defense. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So I will see you in our next video. I think you are enjoying this nightmare, this really hard scenario as well as I am. Even I prefer sometimes easier scenarios, but we have to face everything. So I think if you like hard scenarios, you will enjoy this one. We will see you, I will see you in our next video. Goodbye.